Well, we come up to the last regular season game of the season, and it's Bedlam, and a lot is on the line. Obviously, the Sooners ranked all the way up to number three in the college selection poll. Really, really, is it going to hurt them or help them? you got to believe that they got to be psyched up and they're getting a second life here. Oklahoma State coming off the tough loss to Baylor. They find themselves in the spoiler role as we go into this ball game, uh, and it's going to, the weather is going to really be ugly. Ugly meaning 35 degrees, probably a little bit of moisture in the air. So who has the advantage there? I think injuries play a big part in this. If OSU's Rudolph can't go, that means J.W. Walsh, and uh, that means that Oklahoma State will be forced to run the football a little bit more. But in the, the long run, is that going to help OSU because of the inclement weather? Because you can't throw the football anyway in those kind of conditions. As far as Oklahoma is concerned, who's hurt and who's not? Mayfield obviously passed the two protocol tests for his concussion. But is that going to have an after effect on Saturday? What about P. Ryan's ankle? What about Mixon's ankle? you got to believe that P. Ryan, who played through pain last Saturday and ran for a 72-yard touchdown run after he hurt his ankle. So we expect him to be back. So uh, is both? Are both teams going to be forced to be a little bit conservative on offense because of the banged up uh, nature of this game? Uh, maybe so, and it may keep the scoring down a little bit as well as the weather. Uh, but I look for Oklahoma to win it. It's interesting, the Las Vegas odds, three and a half points was the spread on Sunday. Now all of a sudden, Oklahoma's a six and a half point spread. So do the wise guys know something that we don't? We shall see. Oklahoma, I pick, will win by four in Bedlam and go on to the national championship playoff picture.